Right now we have a normal menu with a sub menu and it's looking really clean. But maybe you want to create a website with a really big menu with a lot of information in your menu. How can you do that? You can create a mega menu. Go to the back end and here we have services. If I open this, I can select use as mega menu. And what you will see, this will change from a page to a column. I save the menu and I go to the front end. I refresh and what do I see? It serves us, it's quite a big menu. Let's make it more interesting. If I make videography a child of photography, save the menu, refresh. Then it says here photography and below videography. So this is actually a title of these menu items. So what you can do, you also can add posts and custom links and categories to this menu. And I want to add a custom link. The URL is nothing and it's called photography menu. I add it to the menu. I drag it here below services and I drag this below. Let's see what happens. Save the menu. Refresh the page. Hover over services. And even here you can have a menu with a sub menu. And if you bring this back, save it. You can build a really big menu. Now it's only one column. But you can have more columns, but you also can have this same menu at all the menu items. So if you take a look at Enfold Demo, go to the overview of the demos. I go for the main demo and we go to Pages. You'll see a mega menu with special pages, blank pages, sliders and examples. And in this way, you can navigate really nicely to your menu. Also short codes, same thing. And here it has no title. So it's a really nice way to show a lot of information in your menu bar. So right now this is much further in the tutorial. I created the whole website already. And if I go to services, I see a lot of sub items in the menu. And I want to create a mega menu from this. I go to the back end to appearance menus and I say over here the services item should be displayed as a mega menu. I save it and I refresh it. So right now this is a mega menu and this is what you see. This is absolutely not what we want. So how can we bring some order in this? I go to the back end. I need to add a few pages. It doesn't matter which page. For instance, those five and I add them to the menu. Over here they are and I drag them over here to the top of the mega menu over here. And at this moment you see all those items are columns and I only want to have five columns. So I drag this to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I go to Google Maps, I open it and I make it a dash like this. If you don't want to display a title, just enter a single dash. I save it and I refresh it and it looks like this right now. Let's do the same with the rest. I scroll down, I go to masonry gallery, I drag it up. And I rename it. And I do this. And then I drag those 10 below to the right and I will fast forward. I save it and I refresh it and it looks like this.
This is not what we want. I want it to be like this, not like this. Right now, this is something to do with our theme settings. So if you go to the back end to unfold, I go to header. So I go to the header size. Right now it's 82 pixels high and I change it to slim. Save it. Refresh it. You will see the menu will become a little bit bigger. A slight change. And now if you go to services, it looks like this. This is what I want. It's the alphabetic order. This is how you can make a mega menu.